most importantly, the diaspora people are critical in our economic development. Why do I say so? Long time ago, coffee was number one foreign exchange earner for the country, followed by tea. Then it was overtaken by tourism. As we speak today, the remittances to Kenya from the diaspora block is number one foreign exchange earner for Kenya. Ahead of tourism, ahead of tea, ahead of coffee. So, as I look at you here, I see money for my country. <laughs> I see... <laughs> I see hard currency. And that is why we want a conversation. Because you people are not going to live here forever. You will not live here forever. This place is good. Even looking at you, you look nice, you look beautiful, you look okay. But east or west, home is best. Through the State Department of Diaspora, we want a conversation on how government can guarantee investments back home for people in the diaspora. We are all aware of most of you have been coined money by friends and by relatives. You send money to your brother to build your house. They take photographs of the neighbor, they keep on sending you. <laughs> the day you come home, there is, you have no home, and there is nothing you can do because that is your brother. Is that not the case? So we want to create a diaspora fund guaranteed by the government, similar to treasury bonds and treasury bills, where the people of diaspora can invest back home and you earn interest and good interest, so that as you come home, your savings are intact. We want to create a mechanism of how government can guarantee property developers who can develop properties for the people in the diaspora without being conned and in a transparent and a forthright manner. That conversation is ongoing.